All right, this here is a mid to late 70s model. You'll have to check the title here of the video. It's a Chevy K10, C10 type body. K10 4x4, half ton, depth side, 4x4 pickup. Beautiful truck, yellow. Man, I don't know how much lift it's got on it. It's got a heck of a lot of one. I'm gonna go ahead and do a once around type thing for you. And then I'll go up close and show you any flaws and stuff like that on it. Um, straight truck. Uh, iron cross tail lights there. They got a little bit of a uh, cracks in a couple. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919, you can reach me anytime. My website, www.serialmarshmallows.com, click on blog when you get there. Also www.missoulaautoauction.com, got about 180 cars, about half of them on for sale. And. Man, it's a pretty truck. Coming up on it, as far as any damage, this is the worst kind of body type damage right in this area. You can see you got that area blown out there. And just some miscellaneous dings and not beautiful body work right in that door. Now the best thing about that is these, this is all these pieces here. And they are beautiful. All your cab corners and everything in, inside of the wheel wells. Look at how just nice all the metal is on these things. And it's usually all rusted out right there. You can see they sprayed the tank there. And I'm sure they put a little fillow over something here. A little bubble leap right there. Straight, except for that stuff. You see all this? You can see a little little marks in there and chips and stuff just not prepped enough looks good straight though you actually get back on it and look down the side of the truck it looks great I'm very picky about showing this stuff I sell a lot of cars overseas across the United States people never see them and so I like to show you everything I can and these just clean straight California rig all them spots you see there are arm armor off flying off the tires here you put a little bit of that Maxis buckshot mutters on this side the other side has a different kind but as you can see the tread is pretty darn close they're a Remington mud brood somebody put that grill in and it looks great your bumper looks good you know it's older you see, find a spot on it or something, I'm sure. But it shines, it's nice as can be. Lenses are good. Underneath it, beautiful truck. Very, lots of lift. Hooker headers. And, let me see here. Extra stabilizer shock in the front there. Put a new starter on it. Let me crawl underneath this again here. I just did this video and kind of messed it up at the last minute by bumping the camera. Now right up in there you can see the leak from the back of the valve cover. And that's about as close as you can get. And that's leaking down the side of the motor here. And down that little tray. And you can see it up there. Like I say, I want to show you everything. I'm happy to do it. Beautiful truck. Somebody put nice dual exhaust on it. Got a piece of hardwood in the bed. You don't have your original slats. Frame's just beautiful. All your a little screw through it right here. Where'd it go? Right there. Not all rusted out though. Your hooker headers. Your car steps. This door is a lot straighter, but you do have this on it. A little ding here. Chips and stuff here, and he put some touch up on it in places. Um, place right there, a couple dings in the hood. It just needs to be driven around for five years until 
it doesn't look so good and then repaint it. It's just clean enough to make everybody look right now. Ding there, touch up spot there. This stuff's in great shape. You can tell they painted a little bit on it, but I think I'm glad they didn't do it all to where you can tell just how clean it is. And you rub that, it's not even rough. It just got, you know, a little bit of surfacey type patina right there. Towing package. It's got a lot of lift. Rides nice, rides like a lifted truck. If you're looking for that Mercedes Benz ride, which I am, this is not it. A little touch up right there. There's a dark look at the bed. Oh, I was going to tell you them lenses. Right there, little cracks in them. Little rub mark right here. Chains beat up the sides there a little bit on both sides. My guy can make a new one of these real cheap. He'll drill out little silver buckles down there and snap right on. Little silver snaps, that's what I meant. Roll bars in great condition. Biggest touch up on the truck. Look away and look back. If I didn't tell you where it was, you just really wouldn't be pointing right to it or nothing, but right there. So, and it's about yay big. Same thing right there, he touched up just a spot. And I got, there's a little bit of extra touch-up paint in the truck. So that's the sides and back and front and underneath and all that. Now I'm gonna take you on a test drive back up to the house and show you the interior. My name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. Call me anytime, I can help you export this right into your country. We'll get it imported right in there for you. Um, my website, www.cerealmarshmallows.com. Just like what's in your breakfast cereal. And I sell that, man. Buy the truckload. You'll love it. Um, make sure you order some. Also, MissoulaAutoAuction.com. It's got an MB motoring set of Alcoa look-alike, Alcoa simulated wheels. They look great. Could use a little... In there, you can tell. Rub right on. Mothering. Mothering. Mother's you did in. However, you want to say that. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave this right here. And for the startup. I'll be right back. like a half throttle. Nice set of pipes. Nice sound. Stroker motor. Get this wrapped around my hand here. Oh yeah. Digital dash. Tells you how many percentage of fuel and all that. RPMs, everything's in. Whatever there in digitality or something. Got an odd shaped mirror. You put your foot down on the thing halfway and it sounds like you're just literally, yeah. It's got that real rappy, oh man. High low cam in it too. Just sit there, whoa, 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 whoa. No, can't do it again. I'm keeping it down under 35 because I don't really know what I am doing here. Um, I want to make sure I haven't went. I went, haven't went by the little thing where you a little bit of a little bit of squeaking on the brakes there when you hit them. Haven't went by the old cop thing and check my radar. Um, radio turns up, but it doesn't play any sound. Um, he took his amps, the previous buyer, or owner. 
So, we got all the wires. I would actually need an amp set moved in it. Let me show you the dash again. Make sure I'm in the right gear there. That's about 33, that's all I'm gonna go to. In case the gearing's different with the tires. I've lifted a lot of trucks in my time. Every time the speedo is off. Nathan 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And um, make sure and check out my other videos here. And make sure and subscribe. Um, I always get lots of unique stuff. I love these step side Chevys. Especially in the little square body like this. They're becoming classic quick. I like the stuff that hasn't went through the roof so much yet. You can't buy the little rounder body ones anymore. They're just out of control. So, now you can see all your digital dash. None of them move, of course, but these do. And I'll show you all this. You got the skull man there. You got the skull man on your little things there also. Wood handle. Sorry, I'm going to have to take a drink here. It's hot today. And, okay. Your door panels are in pretty good shape. Um, they just need to be vinyl painted, in my opinion. Um, he cut these holes in here. And I'll show you this. It has an <laughs> 8 inch subwoofer in there. Um, you can see it, Rockford, Fosgate over there. Carpet seems to have been replaced. Nice new heel pad and everything. Pedals in good shape and everything. Doesn't have an emergency brake pedal. Um, the little piece, oh, remote control for the radio. And a little piece here for that is gone. Here's all your wires. All of this stuff here. I will throw in for the rear a set of boxes along with a set of 6x9s there for like $30. And um, I got to send a text here. They're texting me while I'm doing this. I can upgrade you. Also really cheap. These are regular door speakers. He's got bigger things in there. I'll do these for like... 20 a pop if you need that size. The big, big 6x9, 500 watts, like 45 bucks. Um, amp with the iron crosses to match. I got amps for anywhere from 60 bucks to a couple hundred. DVD players and everything. I got them anywhere from 40, $45 and up. Um, another look at the underneath while we're in here. And you can see it's just clean as can be. Hardwood in the floor. The underneath is clean as can be. The outside, the metal, is very, very clean. Just little dings and little things. It needs to be stripped down and blocked out and whatever if you want a perfect show truck. If you want a good truck to use, man, this is it. And there, you can do a pick the spot out. Um, it's just really hard. I'm about, oh, five feet, four feet away. And you can see it there in case you can't. It's right there and that's yeah, what he touched up there and you can see this spot different in the shade and seats in great shape piping is ripped on that little part little part here and still carpets in nice condition sorry I got a lot of stuff going on today. This is a little loose. And you gotta relatch it. You got the speaker there that's been got that piece. It's like that, how they always get. And he covered it up with a dash thing. Windshield's in great shape. Same thing here, I just kinda vinyl coat them. They're in good shape. This one needs a screw on that piece. You can see the Rockford in there. You can see all these wires left there for you. Coming right from the deck, so you just pop an amp on the wall and pop them boxes back there. And done deal.
And under the hood here, I've got people calling me like nuts today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you. It's hard to do with the camera. Beautiful under the hood. Holly valve cover. Yeah, Holly valve covers, Idlebrock carburetor. Hooker headers, nice green block. Here's a stroker motor. Uh, man, it runs nice. I was told there was about four to 6,000 miles on it. Um, I am not for sure. I can't prove this or that. The way it runs and the way the gaskets and seals look on stuff, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, it runs great. And that is pretty much the innards and outards. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Back this bad boy up and get you another picture of it here. <laughs> and www.missoulaautoauction.com. Feel free to call any.